is ninth grade lit, and we're reading, um, we're reading a Song of Roland. Charlotte, you may begin. That's what I've been told, yes. The emperor goes with a tall pine tree, and to his council he calls his bears, there to bear the spear, archbishop Bernard Meek. Richard, the old and his nephew, Henry, count Aquin, the brave of Gaston, Miles, and his cousin, the lord Tybalt of Williams. You can do it. So starts that council, which came to such sort of... All right. Um, there are actually some hard words, some hard names. That's the hardest part to pronounce. I'm so glad. Can I go to the Yeah, quick. Good job. Go ahead. I'm really bad. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. Sorry. I can't hear you. Well, let's get this one answered. If you pay attention, you won't have to, you won't miss it. So, question, um, question nine. What does he say? He, he, he doesn't, he, he almost says it right out. The very end, and Ganelon that wrought the treasury. Treachery. See, I did the same thing. So he brought treachery? Yeah. He's, he's a traitor, and he tells it. We haven't even met him yet. But the author, the narrator is already telling us that this guy's a traitor. There's not gonna be any surprises there. So what is what is um, Ro, uh, Charlemagne slept on it? He prayed about it, doing all the right things, and he and he gets advice. So he's coming to his council, and he's he's gonna ask for advice. So we'll go to um, Grayson. Line Yes. All right, so basically he, he tells them the issue, and he's going to ask for advice. Um, not surprisingly, when you get to know the guy, the first guy to offer his advice is Roland. All right, so uh, Amanda, read it. Did he, he doesn't think about it. What did Charlemagne do about this? Did he immediately make a decision? No, he won. He, he slept on it. He prayed about it. He's asking advice. Roland now hears about it for the first time. And he immediately makes up his mind. He doesn't have to think about it. Yeah. At the end, like the last little like sentence, isn't it saying that they all said they should just be really like uh, cautious about it? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. The emperor Charles had finished all his speech. The country, the county. It's county. And why do they call him County Roland? Because he's a count. So they, instead of Count Roland, they call him County Roland. Now, circle, underline those two lines. He fiercely disagrees. He's swift to oppose, and he jumps up on his feet. There's nothing halfway about it or sort of. He's not kind of, a little bit. He's all in or all out. That's Rowan. Oh. 
They're, they're limbs of a tree. They're called boughs. Of the olive tree, and this like words to be Their counsel, their advice. Foolish advice they gave to me. Who sent the payment to counts of your Mene or May and May Me. M A N E is how it's pronounced. May Me. Basin was one, and the other was Basile. Basile. He smote their heads off. All right, we now know why, uh, besides being his personality, we now know why Roland is against going with the plan. Yes. Yes, that's good. Well, it could be Raposha, uh, is what is the word. We're going to get another example coming up. So good, I'm glad you're looking for that. So what's the reason why... Roland, what information does Roland have that makes him not want to go with the plan? Yes. Well, well one of them said that they've been there for so long, they can't get so many places already. So, like, they didn't start from there. All right, and there's another one, and this is one I want you to remember. These two names, Bassan, B-A-S-A-N, and Basile. So, apparently, Marsilian sent a, an entourage up to Char uh, Charlemagne earlier some other time and said, I want peace. They talked about it. So Marcillian, or that is Charlemagne, sent two men with him back to their camp, Bastille and Bassan. What happened to those two men? They got killed. They got beheaded. Oh. And so Roland says, you're not going to, you cannot trust that man. Uh, he said, you have to spend the rest of your life here. You need to fight to avenge their deaths. But again, this is just this is perfect example of the kind of person so Roland. Yes, yeah. and these were these were ambassadors. They were carrying a white flag or whatever the equivalent was, the olive branch. And yet he he, uh, he assassinated two in a, two innocent unarmed men. All right. Well, that's one side of it, um, Roland. Well, we're going to Aiden's going to read the next side. His father, stepfather, is going to now um, present his side of the case. The Emperor Charles. The Emperor 50. Charles sat still with his heart bending. He stroked his beard and his mustaches gently. Nor good nor ill, he answered to his nephew. The French are silent. Glenn's alone expects you. Exact But he leaps up, strides in the time present, and full of pride begins thus to address All right, so someone who disagrees with Roland is his stepfather, Ganelon. And what is Ganelon's advice? To not trust Roland. Right. Roland's wrong. He calls, he calls him names. He calls him a brawling fellow. Uh, you, can't, you can't believe him. He'll, he'll say anything. Uh, so he disagrees with his stepson. And we don't, I don't know why. Something, there's something between these two people prior to the story. Because his first reaction is, you can't trust Roland. Uh, don't listen to him. Is he his stepfather or his uncle? He's his stepfather, but he, he's married to Roland's sister. So it doesn't really make him a, technically a stepfather, but that's what they call him in the book. He didn't marry Roland's mother. He 
married Roland's sister. Mm -hmm. Gamma. All right, so now we've got Roland on one side, his stepfather Gamelon on the other side. No one else has spoken, but he, somebody now speaks. He's going to kind of break the tie. So we'll go to Caroline. So which side does Naaman take? He takes the side of the side of the Gamelon. Yes. Liza, what were we going to say? So he takes, uh, he takes Gamelon's side. And notice what the French, the rest of them say. Yes, the Duke speaks as he are. So they kind of go with, with Naaman. Naaman is an important um, counselor to Charlemagne, and he kind of sways the group in Ganelon's favor, yes. Yeah. Well, can we do a question on that one? Yeah, let me, let me uh, make sure you get that before you go. go. Now, now the, the decision has been made that they, uh, the, the decision is made that they take the peace offer and all that goes with it. All right, so what's, no, what's the question? Uh, it is Ganelon's described as being approved by the larger Charlemagne to seek only or only Well, wait, isn't he the traitor of Yeah. Ah, now I can see that. All, all I know is when he says he's full of pride, he is a very proud man. He's a knight. He, uh, he's very proud. In fact, in just a few minutes, he's going to be insulted. Um, and he already is insulted. But he's going to be more insulted by Ganelon. I mean, by, by Rowan. All right, so now they have to decide who's going to go with them. Who's going to go back to Marcillian and, and say, we accept the offer? So they got to find somebody to go. Yes. Why do you take Ganelon's side? Well, notice what he says. He says, there's weight in them, is what Ganelon said. You, have, you should give them thought. And he mentions, OK, Marcillian's already defeated. You've knocked down his towers. You defeated his army. It would be the cruel thing to do to keep fighting him. You need to have mercy on him. That's what he. That's basically what he's saying. We need to have mercy because we've already defeated him. We just got this one town over here. What's the big deal? Let's go. That's all of his argument. Did we answer question ten? What does it say? Um, we see Roland's first speech on page fifty-nine. Based on this, as well as his behavior in section fourteen, how would you describe Roland? Okay, what did we say about Roland? Yeah, he, he's he's a hundred percent in or out. He doesn't he doesn't sit on the, the fence. Remember, he jumps up. He fiercely disagrees. Um, so he's passionate about everything he does. I say now they have to find somebody to go. And Spencer's going to read in a minute. Yes, Ben. And with whom does Nyman say what convinces him to do so? Say that again. With whom, number 12, with whom does Nyman side Roland or Caroline? Caroline, yeah. we, since we just answered that question, would you tell Ben, Caroline, would you tell Ben the answer to number, whatever that question was? He sides with Caroline, and he does, and remember his argument is that we've already defeated this guy. It would be cruel to keep fighting him. Let's go home. That's that's his argument that he and he agrees with me. I mean, he agrees with um, Gamelon. Yeah. 
Roland kind of the bad guy in this situation? He's the one who wants to kill the people. Now what? You know. Isn't Roland kind of more the bad guy in this situation? Because he wants to keep killing but everyone else is kind of... Yeah, but remember, he doesn't trust this Marcellian. He has good reason not to trust him. And he's killed the sheep. And so... Yeah, we, we need to avenge. We haven't avenged the death of those two until we defeat and kill Marcellus. Okay, Spencer 17. Bear is my Lord. Whom shall we send and on? Sarah goes to the queen Marcellian. I, by your leave, said Naaman, will be gone. Therefore, I may be sad and love him on. You are my wisest. The king make answer from. Now, by the beard, my cheek and chin upon. Who's the first person to volunteer to take the message back to uh, uh, Naaman? And what does Mar what does Charlemagne so say? No, you can't. Yeah, I I can't afford to lose you. Now, if he says he can't afford to lose him, what is he basically saying about his trust in Marsilia? He doesn't trust. Him. And yet he's going to go with the plan, which right, and he does he does that throughout. There. It raises the question. Are you crazy? You are you you yourself don't trust him. So why are you going to trust him in this other area since you don't trust him with the lives of your best troops? Um, we can't explain that. Well, we can explain that. Um, I'm trying to find the line that tells us why we can explain that. Uh, look at. Turn back to page 54. Keep your place right there and turn back to 54. I hope you underline the, the number seven. It says, the last line says, they'll trap him somewhere for it is fated so. Yeah. So why is, why is he doing something that seems to be self-contradictory and self-destructive? Because he, he has to. It's like God's intention is for this to happen even though in his best his best thoughts are that we shouldn't do it. All right, so 